Hello, I'm Derek Casey, and this video serves as an introduction to Google Reader. In this video, you will learn first what Google Reader is and how to create an account, but also how to add feeds, also called subscriptions, to your Google Reader account, how to view your feeds, and finally, how to discover new web content using Google Reader. So what is Google Reader? Google Reader is an RSS reader, or also called an RSS aggregator. What is RSS? RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication. And what that is, is a format that uh, regularly updated web content takes uh, as a way for it to be syndicated and those feeds can be read by RSS readers and that's what Google Reader is. Practically what that means for you is that you can read content from your favorite sites in one place. To get started with Google Reader we'll need to go to the Google Reader website. To do that we can go to www.google.com forward slash reader or if you're on a Google website up here towards the top navigation links you can click on more and go to reader and that'll take us to the Google Reader website. Now the first thing we need to do is log in with a Google account. If you don't have a Google account you can create one by clicking here on create an account and it's a very simple process and only takes a minute. When you do have your Google account come back to this page and we can log in. When you log into Google Reader for the first time, it'll look like this. Navigation links will be on the left, and the main reading window will be on the right. Now, even though we've just started and we don't have any subscriptions, we already have a few items provided by Google to help us get started. Now, I won't walk you through those in depth, uh, but just be aware that those are good resources to get started. Uh, as you can see, if you scroll down to go to the next items, Google also provides their own tutorial which will be helpful for you and I encourage you to take a look at. They also have a post describing what the buttons in Google Reader do as well as giving you some recommended subscriptions to get started. Now the first thing you'll want to do on Google Reader is to add some subscriptions and to do that we need to go to the upper left hand corner and click add a subscription. Now there are a few ways we can do this. We can either search by term, as if we're uh, searching Google itself, or if we know a specific site we like, we can type that in and search and see if it has an RSS feed. Now since this is your first time, you probably have a couple of websites you know that you frequent and that you would like to search for to add to your feeds. Say for instance you're a fan of libraries and librarians and you like to read the blog at librarianinblack.net. So I'll type that in and click Add. And since it does have its own RSS feed, it automatically gets added. So now the Librarian in Black blog is added to our subscriptions. And as you can see here, we're already reading the content. Now the way this works is not unlike email, in that the newest things automatically filter to the top and you can browse and you can either scroll down to activate the next item or if you'll notice down here at the bottom there are buttons for next item and previous item which I find to come in handy if it's a particularly long post. But as you can see here we have content updates from the librarian in black blog. Alright that's the first subscription. Let's try adding a subscription another way. Say for instance you're a fan of movies but you don't know any particular site that you want to add. You can just search the term movies to see what's out there. Alright as you can see we have a list of results that match the term movies and each one of these entries is a website that has RSS feeds uh, that you can subscribe to. A few key things I want to point out to you here. 
Of course, each entry has a title for the website as well as a brief description, but also you'll see to the left the amount of subscribers a feed has, which gives an indication of its popularity, and in the green text you can see how many posts per week a feed has, which may or may not deter you from subscribing. All right, let's go ahead and add a subscription here. Say, for instance, we like the Internet Movie Database. Let's go ahead and subscribe. To do that, just hit subscribe. And voila, you are subscribed to the Internet Movie Database feed. And as you'll see over here to the left, in the bottom pane, lists our subscription. And as you can see, there's our librarian in black blog. And now there is the Internet Movie Database that we've just added. Alright, right now I'm just going to click on this Google Reader icon and take us back to our home page. Which alternately can be, uh, you can get there by clicking on Home. Subsequent times you log in, the home screen will look differently. Uh, we won't have those uh, introductory Google feeds anymore. Instead, we'll get a page uh, listing a few different things. It'll list what's new, which is just a selection of some new items from our feeds. It'll show what we've recently read, and it'll give us a few tips and tricks each time we log in. What I'd like to talk to you about now are the different ways you can browse your feeds the subsequent times you log in. There are two different ways you can do that. You can just read everything at once, or you can just pick and choose which subscriptions you'd like to look at. To look at everything at once, you can click on all items up here in the upper left hand corner. And the number in the parentheses is how many items we have unread. So this is not unlike email. So let's go ahead and click on all items to get a list of all of the items that are unread. And as you can see here, all these recent ones are from the Internet Movie Database in which we've just added. If you don't want to view all items at once from every single one of your subscriptions, you can selectively view content from individual subscriptions by clicking on the title in the subscription pane on the left. For instance, if we only wanted to look at Librarian in Black content today, we can just click on that and read its contents. Now I'd like to show you two different ways you can discover new feeds to add to your subscriptions. The first way is by clicking on Browse for Stuff. Now what this does is shows you different featured bundles that Google has created that will allow you to add multiple feeds at once. For instance, you see here a featured bundle by Mark Bittman that adds all of these feeds simultaneously. Now I'm going to go back. And if you'd like, you can click on View All 449 Bundles from Google. And as you can see here, there are several, several bundles, each one uh, with a different theme. For instance, you see an Android uh, bundle here, or an Apple bundle here. And this is a, a nice way to quickly add feeds that pertain to your particular interest, interests. Say, for instance, we're interested in art. This adds 10 custom selected feeds having to do with art. So I'm going to go ahead and hit subscribe. And as you can see, we have all of these new feeds added to our subscriptions. So that's the first way you can discover uh, new feeds based on your interests. Another way is by exploring. If you'll see here on the left, we have a link to explore. You can explore recommended items or recommended sources. Let's first check out recommended items. Now what this does is shows you items from around the web uh, that Google thinks you would be interested in based on your current subscriptions. As you can see here, based on our current subscriptions, uh, Google thinks we might be interested in, in this content. Also, underneath Explore, you can see recommended sources. And if we had a, uh, a more substantial list of subscriptions or over time, uh, Google would recommend uh, Google would recognize our viewing patterns and then recommend new sources for us. But since we've just gotten started, there are no new recommendations. But maybe we can check back later.
Well, that's everything I wanted to show you today, and I hope you can take what you've learned and browse your favorite web content more efficiently and to use what you've learned to discover new content from across the web. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, or just about Google Reader in general, feel free to contact me at dkc7 at utk.edu, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you for your time.